<laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the ongoing campaign of terror by the dreadlord Vlad von Garstein, as he seeks to cast all the world into a night of eternal darkness. We shall foster terrors beyond your wildest nightmares. All the mortals shall cower in fear and terror. As they are feasted upon, their flesh made to serve the unleaving. We have made much progress in our campaign. Much of the north now lies under the dominion of the dreadlord Vlad von Karstein. Ustermark, Ustland, Nordland, Hochland, Talabechland, all have fallen to the might of the dreadlord. Only Boris Todbringer and Mietenland stand in his way now to hold dominion over all of the northern imperial provinces. And to the south, the monstrous army of Werner van Hal has taken <coughs> Wiesenburg and made encroachment into Wiesenland who are now holed up in their fortress city of Nul. Stierland and the Empire itself, the Reichland, are the only holdouts remaining of Imperial provinces outside of Midenland. Stierland suffers an ev under the ever-encroaching darkness of the surrounding provinces, digging its tendrils ever deeper into their soil. So now we must conquer what remains. See, we shall forti fortify Salzenmund further. Although, let us wait a little while and see what else we can build. Yes, we should fortify Norden. There are no remaining buildings in Castle Drakenov. Nor in Temple of. Beckhaven has a witch house, which would come in handy. And you shall have them, my lord. Blood! They do not stand Death a chance against your armies. Massacre them! I think we shall wait for the next turn.
We cannot wait too far. Those heroes he has outside. My words are as deadly See, as my blade. Too much mortal. to annoy and harass us. Though it will not serve them. And he wounded another one. This is a little ridiculous. More than a little, actually. No mercy. He has wounded both the vampire brides. So in South Moon we shall build enhanced fortifications. There. Set an ambush here. Tremble! Lure his armies into trying an attack. They shall dispel. That is what we shall do. Hide in the cover of the forest. Then we shall end our turn. And let us discuss mutually beneficial matters. They want a military alliance. No, they shall not have it. They are lucky merely to be allowed to be Just what we were hoping for. They took the bait and moved out. That will prove to be their doom. For now, we merely have to wipe them out. We shall put the hounds upon the, bo the outriders. They shall find no escape. Excellent, yes. That mana pool will do nicely. The Vargeist. The wolves. The ghouls. There. 
fall upon them from there. And we shall have one batch of wolves up here to fall upon the outriders. And one down there. Slaughter them all. Kill them! Look what comes that emerges from the woods! at this tide of darkness. How noble they are to try and stand against me. Their nobility shall not help them on this day. They shall find only death. Death, horror and misery. Run them down! They have no escape.
kill him. this mortal dead do you hear me we must not be allowed to see another dog Fought yourself clever. You thought you had found a gap in our lives. Instead, you found only death and defeat. As will all of your kind. There shall be no mercy. No escape. Only horror and death. Nightmares and terror. As the wheel of the Dreadlord descends upon the land. The Bargul bathed in blood, as is its proper element. The gods have abandoned us! But why does it stop? Pursue them. Slay them. Show them no mercy. We shall simply end the battle. What a glorious victory! Feast. Feast upon the remains. Much of his army sadly survived. If I'm feasting on the small folk, a vampire within your dominion is needlessly feasting on the peasantry. 
They die in horror in their hamlets, leaving their pathetic farms unattended. If mortals become so fatalistic, then we risk an uprising. The terror must be balanced. I do not fear an uprising, but I do fear loss in productivity. We need the mortals. We need their flesh to feed our armies. So perhaps... Perhaps we should take her lands. She has proven an unworthy landlord. Take her lands and give them to another sire. Yes, that is what we shall do for now. Stop the spirit leech. Excellent. Very nice. Look on me and dismay. I am sure they do after your victory, Lord Van Van Hal. Fortify. Yes, we shall build a gibbet. The darkness has spread. How oh, it encroaches ever further. Not much of a chance. I'm extraordinarily annoyed at how he is able. Vampire prize without any issues. No mercy. So the question has. Should we attack now? Or wait another turn. Another turn will grant us two more. Annihilate turns. them. So let us do that. Noon. Yes. I think we may attack this one. Immediately. Without a battering ram. We have a Vargulf. That is all the battering ram we will need. I dare say. And 
while his men are still exhausted from the march back home. Hounded by the terrors and nightmares that we inflicted upon them. We will not let up. Well, that was disappointing. We will set the Vargulf to knock down this gate. And the Fairgeist will knock down this one. There, guys, then creep horse. And they will have zombies behind them. Very well then, let us start. Tear down the gate. Tear down the gate. I forgot we should probably have put the necromancer with them. Oh well. No matter. Still my beating heart. 
storm the castle. them. <laughs> it's almost adorable that attempts to resist. Kill that pathetic weasel. Glorious. Share them.
Why are you just standing there? <laughs> it is a brave last stand, but a futile one. These and lands shall fall beneath the might of Vlad von Karstein. Victory is ours. Immediate, swift, and without mercy. And so another province falls. Another elector comes. So comes to the grave. Man's ruin. Kill them, kill them all. Their fake gods will recognize their own, if indeed they exist. They gain the corpse heap and a power stone.
shall grant him command of the unheaving. By the comet! The blood keep. A very excellent. Build a bell fire brazier. Bring them death! All shall perish! Death and destruction! If not would wait to next turn. So. That is a shame. Perhaps we may forego building something. The Empire. I think we may. Do not need the brace yet. Managed to shield himself. That is unacceptable. He wounded another one. This is simply... This is insane. That little mage is insane. He never fails. This is completely ridiculous. Beyond reason. Seriously. <laughs> so Melissa has returned. Massacre them. But where is she? All the way back there. Yes, my son. Strike out. I obey. Yes. And meanwhile, I keep failing. Try me.
So then what shall we build? In the vampire crypt. It will go well. With the blood keep. Grandi Master of the Dead. Recruit another unit of ghouls to replace the ones we lost. So the question becomes whether we should attack me tonight. The world will be mine! Of course we should. Now there will be no escape and no mercy. We shall start deployment with those 16 Winds of Magic. Then, Dreadlord, you shall be at the head of your army. With the wolves in the forest. Same with the Blood Knights. For cover until we breach the city. Take me the time. Some pretty crazy range on those muskets. Or rifles or whatever.
join your husband. Bring them into the sea. down the gate. Beautiful. Excellent. God, in the air. we have Wait, Minya! 
Did I not tell you to attack here? Ah, there it is. And Mietenheim falls. The last remaining bastion in the north. When battle is done, the fields are soaked in less crua than Isabella expected, or indeed desired. Such paltry forces could not really have been meant for her, for they were no threat at all, 
and could never challenge her undead hegemony. There must be more to their machinations, she muses, as she drags terrified and hapless captive Empire soldiers into the bowels of her fortress to extract information in cruel and unusual ways. Their dying gasps reveal that they were sent to capture not vampires, but worshippers of chaos, the savage depraved beastmen. Isabella is intrigued, even as her charges scream in agony. If she could deal with the beastmen herself, the power they seek could be hers instead. Excellent. Undeath Ascendant. Descendant of the two. Her evasion. Who wishes the red kiss? Thirst. So, where shall we send Isabella? We will send her further south. Swiftly. There is Toadbringer. Thinking he could reinforce Mittenheim, but it's too late. Far too late, and there is nothing he can do but watch his city burn. And he succeeds again, I would imagine. No, this time he actually fails. Well, that is a miracle. Perhaps Isabella and Melissa can finally rid us of that scourge. Smiting our forces, the forcing them into re retreat. That is not acceptable. Now. And she fails. Of course she does. The Von Garstein. We, we can disband that. Champion of the Dark. These two units. And them both. Fortify Mietenheim. And build a spirit well. Can we 
we build in back half? Yes, we should build a bale of fire or a witch house. Spread more taint. How far has darkness come to Kislev? Far. Far and wide indeed. Look at that taint. Look at how it spreads. Welcome to my court. Hunting. Soon enough, Fildorf will fall. And then, Reichland and the Empire. And I think that is where we shall leave it off for, for now. I thank you for watching this part. And I hope that you will continue to follow the campaign of terror by the dreadlord Vlad von Karstein. As we seek to spread the dark taint ever further and deeper into the old world and the new. Darkness comes and night falls. The dawn never to be seen again. So please, until next time, don't let the bed bugs bite. Ha 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 